What's good, YT Nation? It's your man, YT Sensation. I'm back at you with another video. In this series, what I do is I vlog. I basically take you guys along the journey of the adventures of my life, uh, the adventures of the life of an entrepreneur. That's what I do. I'm an entrepreneur. I'm a business owner. I'm an investor. Um, and I'm a father. All of the above. So like I said, on this channel, I, I look to give advice to you guys, um, um, life advice, life hacks, tips, tricks on just anything that you guys are, are, are interested in, anything you guys want to talk about. This channel is also so that I can just basically make a timeline for my for my life, guys. Um, I want to kind of leave something behind so that you know the people coming after me they, they can kind of see uh, you know just who I was. You want to kind of leave a legacy behind in some kind of way, showing you guys the beginning of when I got on YouTube, you know, and then hopefully the middle and so on and so forth. I want to look back a year from now, two years from now, three years from now to see where I've been, where I'm going and where I am, if that makes sense, you know, because you can't know where you're going unless you know where you've been. You guys can get a look at that. Yeah, I'm at Starbucks, I actually came and got some, uh, I got a few things, it's for my brother, myself, and for his wife. For all of you who don't know, yesterday I had my massage from my massage therapist, which is one of the big reasons why I came to Starbucks and I got a, and I got a tea. I got a honey citrus mint tea today. If you get a massage and you do things like that to your body where you're relaxing or you're flushing out toxins and all that kind of stuff, it's good to put good fluids in your body when you're going through that kind of process. And like all your muscles, everything is like fluid right now. Everything is just moving the way it needs to be moving right now. Um, there's no knots, there's nothing that's stopping or preventing your body you know, from moving around or flushing the toxins and moving your blood. You know, Everything is just free. You wanna put something that's nourishing to your body Body. like right as soon as you've done something good for your body you got a massage you did something that was very good for your body you want to keep feeling great for as long as possible so I came out today I got tea because guys that's what it's all about it's all about trying to be the best version of yourself right or not trying actually being the best version of yourself and that 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 kind of goes with what we put into our bodies we got some repairs or some things we got to fix in the house so I'm gonna show you guys some of that as well so stay tuned we got a lot coming Okay guys, so I'm back at the house from Starbucks. Man, let me, it was really good too. I'm just about done with it. But um, but I just want to give you guys uh, in this snippet, just a brief understanding or a brief, you know, layout of what I was doing this morning. So to be honest, guys, this morning I was watching YouTube videos. So I was I came to realize it myself, look, if YouTube is something I'm going to be doing, I want to be able to do it to the best of my ability. And this is something that all of you guys should aspire to do you know no matter what craft or no matter what skill that you're getting into whether it's youtube or farming it doesn't matter you want to be the best that you can be at what you're trying to do guys i'm, I'm not going to pretend like i'm a know-it-all I, I don't know a lot about cameras photography recording videos like, like i've been in video shoots i've been in plays i've been in on stage i've with the big red curtains and i've done a lot of those things uh coming up but I've never, I was never the one, you know, in the background calling the shots and setting up the camera and the lighting and all this kind of stuff, you know. Yeah, and I want to be able to produce the best content that I could possibly produce for you guys, you know, because I want you guys to come to my channel. I want you guys to enjoy yourselves and have a good viewership, you know, when you come and you see what it is I'm doing on a daily basis. Guys, it's all about the YT Nation, y'all. We, we, we're going to build it. We're going to grow it. Like I said, we're starting from the bottom, y'all, and we're, we're, we're going to start climbing every day. Um, I don't have any subscriber goals yet, but, you know, I'm going to start coming up with some. But one channel I wanted to... Um, 
let you guys know about one channel. Uh, okay, so the, the, her name is Erin. Her channel's name is Erin On Demand. I've watched quite a few of her, her videos already, like three or four of them, and uh, and she got a lot of great information. Like one one of the um, videos, one of the first videos of hers that I clicked on was how to record good clean videos from your iphone if you're not learning something new every day what are you doing with your life like seriously what what, what are you going through don't run your life on autopilot you know what i'm saying have some direction have some goals have some understanding of some things you want to accomplish with small goals like they don't have to be huge have to be big at all just small things on a daily day basis you know and that's what leads up and grows into big things okay but i just wanted to shout out aaron on demand like i said um you know i when i typed in on my uh computer you know how to record great quality videos from my iphone 11 she was one of the channels that popped up and like i said i was just i was just drawn to her channel you know i you know just her style and the look and you know her personality and you know her her, her thumbnail picture like, see, i'm learning all of these things guys i don't know anything about none of this none of this so if this is something that you guys are trying to get into as well if my videos help you out in any way, if I could recommend anything to you guys, I want you guys to go out there and take on the world. You know, like I said, this channel is all about uh, empowerment. It's all about motivation. It's all about, you know, learning, essentially. It's all about self-will, um, you know, discipline, to be honest, because without discipline, you can't get very far. Um, so yeah, guys, I just wanted to make this little snippet and uh, we got some things to fix in the house today. So we're gonna be going over that shortly. Stay tuned. Okay guys, so these are the new packages that came in. I also ordered my vitamins. I'm gonna do my vitamin and, um, well, my supplement video. I'm gonna show you guys that uh, pretty soon uh, so you guys can follow me with that. And this is all the gear we have so far from our last unwrapping video. So that's everything right there, guys. And we're gonna start now with opening those right there. So let's get right into unwrapping these packages. I ordered a lot of stuff. So gaming stuff came through, other stuff came through, some stuff from my sister came through. As you guys see, everything is, all this is closed up. I'm just my first time opening all of this. Oh, oh, <laughs> guys, YT Nation, look what we got y'all. 1080p microphone in it, got a wide angle, got a plug and play, I'm a 60 FPS, 60 frame per second, 180 degree webcam clip, Okay, so this camera looks like it was made by a company called Nexigo. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that. Can you guys see that? Here you guys can see that, right there in the corner. It's a company called Nexigo. It was the best one that I saw online when I was ordering everything. I think this would do exactly what I need to do. If I need to upgrade this camera or change it down the line, I will do so. I can't wait to unbox this thing, guys. I can't wait to get it unboxed, get it set up, get it over on my desk so that we can start slaying and gaming. Oh, this is oh, this is some plug-in cables. I got you guys. So I got some cables, some stuff that I was gonna need for setting up my system. Okay, so two down. We got one more to go, and I don't know what's in this last one, but this this one is pretty heavy, guys. Let's uh, yeah, this this one's got some weight to it. It's a big boy. Guys, I was trying to act like it's hard to open this thing, but it's actually really hard to open this thing. It's another health product. So, like I said, we're not going. I'm not going over the health products um, in this video. I'm going to be going over the health products in a later video with you guys. So you guys can kind of see what I'm what I'm using, what I'm trying out. And um, if you for you guys who don't know, I'm a vegetarian. So that's one of the hard things about finding products is finding products that don't have the things in it that you know that you don't eat. I'm everything organic. I, that's that's me. I like to try to find everything organic if I can and um and just vegetarian style you know so it's not any um pro products meat products or meat byproducts in it but other than that that's going to be it for this clip guys we have a toilet we have to fix and we have a light fixture of the fix inside the kids room so let's get to work okay guys so we're here in the bathroom right now uh for the children but yeah so we're, we're going to fix a few things we're going to fix uh the toilet because the toilet has this issue where it, it keeps running and it won't stop this is my brother by the way say hello hey what's up okay <laughs> we also have to fix a light fixture because the switch when you when you when you switch it off it doesn't turn off because over time it's just they're just wearing out not working anymore kids are hard on stuff these days man yeah, yeah, yeah. but um but yeah when we were growing up like we we worked on houses you know we did tile we did grout we painted wall we did the whole nine yards so this is not really new to us you know we got and there's people who will pay hundreds of dollars to go get a plumber to do a simple fix something you get for a couple bucks from home depot lowe's and uh you can literally fix a lot of the small 
small issues in your house. That's why I wanted to show you guys this today, give you guys some value. Okay guys, so the first thing you wanna do is you wanna turn the water off. Now, every toilet is gonna to be different, but they're all relatively the same. It's gonna always be a valve where you, you'd have to turn it and, you, and that turns the water off. Sometimes it might be two valves for a hot and cold or something like that, but usually you go, if you look behind a toilet, you'll always see a valve and you turn it and that shuts the water to the toilet off. Okay guys, and this is the inside of the back of the toilet, okay? This is when you take the lid off the back of the toilet. This is what you're gonna see. So as you can see, everything in here is, it's pretty old. You can tell it's been in here for a while. It doesn't look new. When we pull the new one out of the pack, you're going to see the difference. Uh, we're just going to flush the toilet, I believe, to let all the water down. Uh, now that the water's off, we're going to flush it. And that's going to give us room and space to work and put the new one in there. Okay, guys, so that's the end of the valve. Okay, that's the valve there. That's the end of it. We're going to unscrew that and take that off. And also we got a bucket here. We got a bucket because when we release this, some water is going to come out that's at like at the bottom of the bowl. So always have a bucket there whenever you're unscrewing that so you don't get your water all over your floor. It's two, it's two butterflies. Two butterfly screws. That's what you're going to see the rest of the water. And that's the other part coming off. There we go. Bottom view. I show the top view. Yeah, it's pretty old. It's, it's pretty worn out. It's been in there for a long time. And your plumber will come and charge you $250, guys, just to do something as simple as this. If you're a DIY person, just go to the store, grab you a couple of these things cost no matter what, 20 bucks? Yeah, 20 bucks at the store, and you can literally do this yourself in a matter of minutes. Okay, guys, so this is a piece that actually broke. This is the handle piece that connects to the to the handle of the toilet. We also got a new part for that, and I'm gonna show it to you now. So this is the new part. As you guys can see, it's a lot more updated. You know, it's a lot more sturdy. And it's gonna work just perfectly for what we need. Then, get that good old handle. So this, we have to adjust this turn because the turn is... You see? It's just a little, some little, some little pocket knit. Yeah. Crazy. All right, see, so there we go. See that, that, yeah, yeah. There we go. And this guy should literally just, you have to snap this in place. Some force required. Yeah, definitely do a tight chain if you can. Yeah. Save us some water dollars. The water goes down. And it goes sure. right back down immediately when the, when the chain is tight. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now unless you letting like, you know, Superman. <laughs> Unless you let a Superman drop in. So this piece is responsible for turning on and off your water to fill up the bowl in the back. And we're gonna do a quick assembly here and show you guys the this is basically finished one. product. Yep. Yeah, use the new washer because it usually works better with the new assembly, y'all. Pitch right in the hole. Thing slides right in. It's not interfering. Mm -hmm. okay, there's, we're gonna turn this, this that way. way. Yep. We'll probably do Make like everything that. nice and free. Like so we're moving the bucket out of the way, guys. We're gonna go ahead and connect the valve hose back to the commode. Mm -hmm. Try to save as much water as possible, so I like to let the ball be a little lower. Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? yeah, but enough to, to to wash down some large, you know, large loads. Large loads. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna turn the water on to see if we can get some. All right, guys, so we're filling the water back up into the commode. We're just turning on the uh, the valve that we turned off in the beginning. We're just turning the valve down there back on. So it's putting putting water into the commode. And um, yeah, so I wanted to tell you guys about this. If you want more water to go into the tank, you just twist this little knob right here and it'll let more water into the, into the commode. Or you twist the other way to let less water come to come. If you're trying to save water, you know, try to do it where it, set it, where it can save water. Um, but you also want to make sure that it's it's going to put enough water in there to wash down some loads if you got some big loads coming through, you know. <laughs> <laughs> man, it's so funny, man. <laughs> some people, hey, look. So the water's still rising, guys, and it's pushing the, the ball up. The black ball there is pushing it up. In the second here, it stops. And that's it. Full toilet assembly, guys. 
like I said, you don't need to go spend a bunch of money to nobody to do this. This is literally a 15 minute job if you just know what you're doing. Uh, any questions, comment down below, guys. Like the video if this was helpful to you in any way. Um, and definitely subscribe to the channel because we've got a lot more of this coming for y'all in the store, okay? Stay tuned. Usually on the back of everything, guys, there's instructions. Just follow the instructions step by step and it'll tell you exactly how to assemble everything and put it together. Clear instructions on the back. Um, make sure you utilize that if necessary. Okay, y'all, and that's pretty much it. I mean, we got the toilet fixed. It works just perfectly. I want to thank my brother for coming in clutch and helping me do this video today. We're all done here, guys. We're all set. Um, one other thing I wanted to add is safety, okay? So we've done this stuff over the course of a period of time, so we're pretty... You know, we're pretty intermediate as far as knowing what we're doing, but for you, somebody who's a beginner that may be trying to do something like this, working on a toilet commode or working on a, a light fixture, definitely have gloves, definitely have gargles, and I recommend you guys having, you know, some, some protection on so, you know, you guys don't have any water that may splash up on you. Always have safety, uh, safety first and everything. But with that being said, guys, now we got a wonderful commode and we can start dropping loads. All right, y'all, so this is the light fixture that we're going to be fixing next. Why this one is not working, see how... Not really working properly the way it should so we're going to change it right now so guys the easiest way to take these things off the wall so that they don't break i've, I've seen people try to use flathead screwdrivers they try to use things to pry it off the wall once they um finish taking out the screws cut into the paint that's around the surface and usually they pop right off see we just did it and this one it popped right off as you can see so we're going to take this one off and put the new one in there so we're probably going to end up going back to the store tomorrow what we're going to do is we're going to take this one off First, before you touch anything that's electrical in your house, guys, you have to find your breaker box. If you know where your breaker box is and you make sure you cut off the power to this room of the house, or it could be a few rooms attached, attached to the same breaker. So make sure you cut the power so that you, so when you go in here and you start unscrewing stuff, you don't get electrocuted, okay? So, but we are gonna turn the power off by, from the breaker and then we're gonna take this piece out and take it with us to Home Depot tomorrow so that we can get the correct piece that goes inside this socket, okay? So this is a breaker box, you guys. Um, your, every house is gonna have one of these. It's either gonna be upstairs, downstairs. Sometimes it'll be in your garage. This is basically the control box to all the power in your house. And the way it works is you just open it up and you see these little switches. Every time you switch one of these switches, it's gonna shut off power to uh, a certain section of the house. I don't recommend anybody to work on anything electrical in their house. I mean, the toilet and the plumbing, that's that's fine, you guys. But if you guys are not completely sure about what to do as far as electrical, if you're not comfortable, if you're not handy, um, I would you probably want to have somebody else to do it. So tomorrow we're gonna to be getting that new part and we're gonna be putting it in the bathroom. But other than that, that's it, guys. Guys, I hope y'all can see how genuinely excited I am to, to do these videos and to bring this kind of content out there for you guys. Like I said, it, it's all about helping people. That's what being an entrepreneur is all about, in my opinion. You know, we go out and we find people who need things out in the world and we fulfill those needs and that's how we get our needs fulfilled. Way more content on the way. Just stick with me and stay tuned. Okay, YT Nation, that's going to be it for this video. It was my absolute pleasure bringing y'all along with me today. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the video with somebody you know. Also, turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time I post another video. But with that being said, it's your man, YT Sensation. I'm out of here, guys. Catch y'all in the next video. Stay safe, be blessed, shalom.